Hello, hello, my dear friends. Welcome to Zout Electronic Channel. This is Uncle Misha, and today, together, we will try to marry these uh, batteries with this charger. So, if you are a guy who likes to collect all vintage equipment, there is a case uh, that some of those vintage equipment, like uh, mini disc players, some old cassette players, were using these sort of batteries. So, what is this? This is gum stick battery, nickel metal hydride, 1.5. Well, in comparison to, an, for example, AA battery, this is how it is. It's a little bit a, longer, but it's slimmer. I was even thinking if I can just take my vice and just squeeze this battery, but no, obviously it's not going to happen. So, this is AA, this is gumstick battery. So, how do you charge? Obviously, not going to charge this here, but imagine you have a rechargeable. So, how do you charge it? Obviously, it's not going to fit. You cannot come up with some kind of wire solution in order to, you know, prop it here and somehow try to charge it. Hmm, interesting. Never actually tried that. Who knows? Maybe it's going to work. No, it's not going to work. <clears throat> but uh, we have to come up with a solution. How would you charge this battery in this charger. So, um, sp speaking about charger, this charger is very cool. So, this is Lacrosse BC9009 and that's a God's duck of chargers. It can revive your batteries, you can charge the charge cycle, get the capacity and all sorts of cool things and support pretty high charging currents. Very nice one. Imagine you have something like that and you want to marry those uh, things together. So, let, let's do something um, together. So, I designed and 3D printed a little thingy just like that. And the main goal here is you can slide your battery just like so. And technically, you would be able to put it here. Clearly, it's missing some conductive parts. So, let's just, um, let's just make it. So, in order to have it working, you need two more screws. Screws gonna go here. They gonna be contact with your t battery terminals here and here. So for this you probably would need a screwdriver. Like a... So we're gonna screw this little guy right here. Providing the hole is big enough. Bigger screwdriver probably would work a little bit better. Okay, now now we have very decent contact, and now we have very decent contact. It goes like this and like this. So uh, this device is designed to hang over your a uh, charger. So. Providing your chargers don't have deep enough um, openings right here, and uh, um, it can accommodate this this particular height. That's gonna go like this. It can go like this as well, but you have to watch out the polarity. Also, for example, in this case, there are buttons here. So yeah, it's better to do it this way. So now, when we put those screws in, let's try to install it and double check if everything is fine. So looks like we're gonna have very good contact here. It uh, I designed this thing particularly for this charger because it goes over like this. Technically, you can put it like that as well, but it is there is a risk touching uh, this button, and which gonna change the mode. In case you have this sort of quartz charger from IKEA, 
it would work well as well either this way or this way. You just need to make sure that polarity of your battery is appropriate with uh, uh, is appropriate and is in sync with the polarity right here. So we can put this to side. I'm gonna use this charger as our main one. So now we need a battery terminal. So for battery terminals, I'm gonna use this just little piece of single strand, but pretty uh, strong wire. So I'm gonna thread the wire through those little holes here, just like this. Okay, make a loop like this. It's very crude and simple. Oh, I need to. Okay, it's gonna make a little um, loop like there. If you really want to have a better contact, you may make you, you may decide to make several loops. For example, like this, and then you need some kind of pliers to wrap it again. Essentially, you threading it like a like a thread. Okay, and then just shove it back in there one more time. Okay, so yeah, you have one, yeah one of your terminals now. You just do this like that, wrap it around, have to unscrew it a little bit. Wrap it around here. Okay. And then you have to do the same on the other side. So you can chop it. Then pretty much do the same on this side. Unscrew. If you would have extra like a washer, it would be even more helpful. I didn't think about designing it with the washer, but that's gonna be plenty enough. Okay. So now you have a uh, sort of battery terminal on the other side. You can snip this off. Okay, now let's try our battery. So first of all, we have to figure out our polarity. So uh, because it's gonna go like this, polarity gonna be negative, positive. Just like that. So this is how it's gonna look like. Terminal, negative, battery, Terminal, positive, and another terminal to meet it with the charger. Obviously, when you're gonna charge, you have to make sure you put it the light, right polarity. So probably better idea is to, when you're gonna put your battery in, put it like this. You're gonna see plus and minus. So you're gonna put it back in right here. Just, uh, yeah, here we are. That's gonna make a good contact. So.
Let's try it to power it up and see how it works. Okay, this is the power for this charger and here we are. And it is charging. So as you see, one All right, so one of them one of them is actually charging uh, very very nicely. So if you have another one, how it's going to work? Obviously with this particular charger it's going to work perfectly because this charger allows you to charge each cell individually at any time. You can charge this charge, you can do many many things simultaneously. This that's why it's so so cool. But Technically, you can charge in, in, in this kind of charger few two cell cells um, gum sticks batteries simultaneously. So here we are. This is properly working solution for charging your gum stick batteries. So guys, the main thing, um, the last thing I want to say that I will make those available in on my website. So anyone would be able to download them and print them themselves. If you don't have 3D printer, please contact me. I may try to make some for you. And uh, yeah, if you have any ideas how to improve this, please fire, uh, please comment here, message me and things like that. Also, I have already an idea how to improve it. So instead of designing it this way, I can design it to be insertable this way. In this case, I would be able to put four of them. But for now, this is gonna work quite well because you would be able to charge two, for example, very easily in almost pretty much almost every charger. And I think I'm gonna wrap up for now. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And if you have any comments, please comment away. I'll be happy to hear from you. See you next time. Stay safe. Ciao.